Dear students, now we are going to discuss parallel resonant circuit in detail. In general, resonant circuit consists of an inductor and capacitor in its circuit. In parallel resonant circuit, both inductor and capacitor are connected in parallel to each other. So this is the diagram of parallel resonant circuit. Here this RP represents the coil resistance which is equivalent to the losses associated with this inductance. Okay. So here the tuned parallel circuit resonates at a particular frequency by varying this capacitor and inductor. So it is also known as resonant frequency. Okay. So here at this resonant condition, the inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance. This is very, very important. Okay. At resonant frequency, inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance. That means both can cancel each other. At the time, the impedance is purely resistive and it provides very high impedance in the circuit. Hence, the circuit produces the maximum output at resonant condition. Okay. So, next we are going to derive the resonant frequency for this parallel resonant circuit. For analyzing the parallel circuit, we have to consider the admittance value. So, here the total admittance of the parallel tuned circuit is given as Yt is equal to 1 by Rp. So, this is the admittance of the parallel resistance. Here it is 1 by 1 by j omega c. Here as we all know that x is equal to what? 1 by j omega c. So admittance means 1 by x c. That's what given here. 1 by 1 by j omega c plus 1 by j omega l. Here xl is equal to what? j omega l. So admittance means 1 by x l. So in the next step. We can move this j omega c to the numerator and move this 1 by j as minus j. Do you all understand this one? Okay. Then we can get yt is equal to 1 by rp plus j omega c minus j 1 by omega l. So from this we can take this j as a common term. So here we can get 1 by rp plus j omega c minus 1 by omega l. So, this is the total admittance of the parallel resonant circuit. As we all know that at resonant condition, both reactances are equal. So, both can be cancelled each other. That means there is no imaginary term. Okay. So, here at resonant condition, there is no imaginary term. We can equate this imaginary term is equal to 0. At which condition? Resonant condition. So we can write omega naught C is equal to 1 by omega naught L. Do you all understand this concept? So here at resonant condition, that's why we mentioned the term as omega naught. Then we can interchange this C and omega naught term. So then we can get omega naught squared is equal to 1 by L into C. So from this we can get the omega naught by taking the square root on both the sides. Omega naught is nothing but 2 pi f naught that is equal to 1 by square root of LC. We can move this 2 pi to this side then we can get f naught is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. So this is the formula of resonant frequency of parallel LC circuit. So this is the standard formula of the resonant circuit. Okay. So next we are going to find out the Q factor. As we know that it is the ratio of voltage drop across the inductance to the voltage drop across the resistance. That means energy stored in the inductor to the energy dissipated in the resistance. That is the formula, right? Then we can use the formula VL by VR. VL is nothing but current through the inductor. So inductor can be represented with its reactance value. So IL into XL divided by IL into R. Then we can get the value as XL by R. Inductive reactance is equal to omega L. Then its value is omega L by R. So in terms of capacitance we can say XC by R. Here the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 by omega C. So from this we can get the value of quality factor is equal to omega L by R that is also equal to 1 by omega C R. Okay. This is the frequency response of parallel resonant circuit 
at resonant frequency xl is equal to xe at that point we can get the maximum value so here it is xl is equal to xe do you all understand this one so if it is less than resonant frequency it can act as an inductive reactance if it is greater than this resonant frequency it can act as a capacitive reactance okay so this is very important and then the advantages of parallel tuned circuit over series tuned circuit are given here the parallel tuned circuit has the better selectivity high gain small power loss and low power requirements okay